This is a very complex story. It's about the fight between the Office of Government Ethics, which is a federal agency that monitors ethical standards, and the Trump White House. It, this all started because Kellyanne Conway had said, Go Second. buy Ivanka's stuff is what I would say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, go, I hate shopping, I'm gonna go get some on myself today. It's a wonderful line, I own some of it. I fully, I'm gonna just give it, I'm gonna give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody, you can find it online. And that got the Office of Government Ethics involved. So they sent a letter in the response, the White House ethics officer, he wrote, and said something along the lines of that many of the OGE's regulations do not apply to White House, to the executive office of the president. And that was a very broad statement. I said it was mitigated by a footnote that referred only to White House staff. But that then sent the uh, director of the Office of Government Ethics in a later letter to write that he understood that the White House ethics officer felt that that presidential appointees serving in the White House are beyond the reach of the ethics requirements applicable to millions of executive branch employees. Well, these are fighting words. <laughs> these are like total insults from one person to another. The big issue is there's a regulation that allows the Office of, of Government Ethics to make inquiries about what's going on in the White House. And so the the subtext of the conversation between the two officials is that the White House was laying the groundwork for a moment when it could say, we don't have to answer your questions anymore. That's the big, that's the, that's the hole in the donut. You know, at the fact checker, we're not inclined to offer a ruling. It's, it's one of those situations where you cannot simply say one person is right or one person is wrong. You can see why the White House would be very upset at the way the director of the Office of Government Ethics interpreted their statement. At the same time, you can also see that the way the White House phrased it was rather unusual and it left you know, a hole wide open for the White House to basically ignore, ignore inquiries from the Office of Government and Ethics in the future. But it's a good, good example of where the plain, plain language of, of a statement may say one thing, but if you're a lawyer and you dig beneath the surface, you discover it might mean something entirely different.